Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Capricorn and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your September 2024 tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Capricorn, let's see what we have for you for the month of September. We're going to pull an overarching energy, look at some general energies too. And then look specifically at love, romance, general relationships money, career, finances, and any other thread that comes out. We've got the Hermit here. Four of Cups. We've got the Knight of Cups here. We've got the Eight of Swords. And we have the Five of Cups. Let's see what we have for you, Capricorn, in terms of love, romance, general relationships. <clears throat> what do we have for September for Capricorn? Angel Spirits Guides, Two of Pentacles. And the Strength card, yep. I think this is likely a message across the board. I've been getting that quite a lot this month. <clears throat> what do we have for Capricorn, Money Career? Knight of Cups again, yeah. And the Hermit again. Let's see what we have for you in terms of... <clears throat> An angel answers the message. Sorry, I'm suffering from um, allergies at the moment. We've got no need to worry. Angel romance card. What do we have for Capricorn? You deserve love. You are lovable. Let's see what we have for you. Money, career, financial areas. <clears throat> organize for success. Do not let the word organize intimidate you, as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose, organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace, and your finances will help you know will help you plan your next action steps. Let's pull you a destiny card, Capricorn. Let's see what we have for you. Message for Capricorn. <clears throat> Message for Capricorn. We have purification. The picture shows the summer rain. It's difficult for new vibrant energy to enter your life if it is clogged with old and outdated energy. Cleanse and purify your body and your physical space. This is a great time for a detox, clutter clearing, cleansing and space clearing. Release outdated energy to invite fresh, clear energy into your life. Eat lightly. Don't take things personally. Release resentment, guilt and blame. Purify yourself, thought, word, and deed. Declutter. Decluttering is a modern-day alchemy. If you don't love it or use it, let it go. This card can also represent abundance, as flowing water is a metaphor for prosperity, and summer is the time of expansion. The 
there is something happening here where you're coming to some kind of point here, Capricorn, where you're saying, but in truth, how do I actually want to move forward now? What is my path forward? It might well be for some of you, you're finding your life purpose or have an opportunity to move forward with yourself, align with maybe a path that you feel you should be on, um, align with a path that's more fitting for you, in alignment with your energy, in alignment with your gifts, your talents, your experience, certainly in terms of money, career, finances. This can be somebody who also offers you sage advice as well. Because there is something, certainly in terms of money, career, finances, you have some kind of crossroads. You're not happy where you are in your current circumstances. This can be about boredom, apathy, discontent, but sometimes not doing anything about it. It can be a bit of a nudge, you know, when we feel an intuitive nudge, it's time to take action on something that we've, you know, just been very still on, even sitting on, you know. So this just feels like something is coming in at the perfect time to break you free of some kind of limiting pattern or stuck energy where you don't see your current circumstances going anywhere or you don't feel that something has a future. You know, you don't feel that the path that you're on, certainly in terms of money, career, finances, you're going anywhere anymore, you know? I mean, that could be in your current circumstances. I don't feel I'm going anywhere. For others of you, this could be a complete change. So... I feel that you're at some kind of point where you're being truly honest with yourself and saying, right, what do I have to do to, to move forward on a path that brings me, you know, that brings me greater joy and happiness. And sometimes that's recognizing what you need to let go of in order to move forward at the same way. So this is that kind of clutter clearing energy. This is when we're recognizing you know, this isn't working for me anymore. And I need to kind of like move forward on a path that brings me greater joy and positive change. This is what's at play for you here. I think that you're in the process of, or you have an opportunity to manifest positive change, certainly on the money front. But I think it's about having some kind of quiet space to reflect. Again, somebody could be sharing their wisdom with you as well. To say, is it time? Is it time to have the strength and courage to bring in that change, you know, to start applying the energies of flexibility and forward movement and recognizing that something might have to be let go of in order to move forward to the new. But the new will bring you deep down. The new you feel will bring you that sense of happy change. This can also be about doing something that you love, you know, uh, it might well be that certainly if you don't want to be or don't want to be on a certain career path anymore, then this would be about bringing happy change on that basis and following a path and manifesting a path that brings you greater happiness and fulfillment, you know? This is what's at play here, but recognizing sometimes that, again, sometimes we have to let something go in order to, to welcome the change in. This is what I see for you, and that takes a lot of strength, but this deserving energy, even when we have it with the Love Romance card, what you deserve and nothing less than that, you know, and having a plan in terms of how you move forward to releasing something, the outdated, the worn, the thing that has you feeling discontent and stuck, you know, how do I actually take action and assert myself to bring positive change? Sometimes this can be, you know, you know, I, I regret not doing this sooner, you know. So this can be the energy at play. Uh, but I feel spirit is telling you there's absolutely no need to worry. I think that this is about, certainly in terms of money, career, finances, setting things in motion this month that allow you to let go of something that doesn't serve you anymore and move towards something else that does. It's what I see for you. Now, for some of you, that could also be about healing arts, uh, becoming a healer. You know, this can be actually quite a, a literal translation. You know, I want to be a healer. I want to, you know, uh, start on a path of, of, you know, becoming something that's more akin to 
my life purpose as well. So this can be that kind of energy. For those of you, I think that you've been doing some soul searching in terms of whether you're on the right career path or trajectory or whether you're in the right place, you know. So this is either a career change or for others of you, is this place going to give me what I want or do I need to bring in the change even though I'm sad to let certain parts of this place go and that needs to be sacrificed in order to move forward to something better. This is what's at play here this month. I think Spirit is telling you, organize, have a plan. Again, the Four of Cups is when we've not really done anything. You know, we might think about something, but we haven't actually asserted ourselves. This is when we're really kind of like shining that light on the issue and coming up with some way forward in terms of what we need to do. So this is what I see for you here. I don't actually see any kind of like end result of that. I just think that you're kind of like bringing in the change this month. And I think Spirit is telling you as you do that, there is absolutely no need to worry. You know, Knight of Cups could also be somebody who might be supporting you through that on a personal level, if that was the case as well. Would be the energy too. Now... I also want to talk about, let's talk about love, romance, relationships. You know, when we have the Herm energy, yes, this can be to do with healing. Now, this is either an existing relationship here, Capricorn, or for others of you, it's a new relationship that's available to you. So let's start with a new, you know, the, because I'm getting both energies, you know, and it's a general reading, so take what applies to you. Sometimes we feel stuck. Somebody might ask us out, then there will be an opportunity here, but we think we're not ready. It's a mental thing that keeps us stuck in a cycle of always looking back and not moving forward. You know, we can we can accept, there's, there's a feeling of accepting what's gone and let the old and outworn go. This is the purification energy of the summer rain, you know, to herald in that sense of new abundance. Because it looks like, certainly in terms of new love, the Knight of Cups is, is recognizing, accepting that something is ended or letting, letting a loss or something that is ended go. Uh, because again, the more we look back at the three cups that have gone, that are, that are, there's no putting that, the liquid back in those cups, it's gone. There's empty cups on the floor. This is to do with loss, regret, looking back, mourning something that's gone or ended. Um, but there's two cups that are still full. But the idea with the five of cups is that we're going to actually miss the good things that are available to us if we keep looking back. So it might well be for some of you that there is someone else here. But for whatever reason, because we're looking back, we're not open to seeing it. And I do feel that this is embracing a healing journey in terms of how you move forward, you can still heal. You know, you can still continue, but it, this is about healing and moving forward with the hermit. You could also be given some sage advice as well. Because again, the strength in the Two of Pentacles, it feels like the strength to move forward. It's a strength to, 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 to kind of let, let go of what, what was and move forward to something new. It just feels a strength to, to kind of like be open to change. And that's what I feel that you are being offered here, real change. Um, so potentially not dismissing somebody out of turn. I think that you, we always know intuitively if we've, we've missed an opportunity, if we've done the right thing, you know, or done the wrong thing. You know, we know in our instinct what the case is. I feel that this is about shining the lamp and, and allowing that healing energy to move forward. But it might well be for some of you that that still is available to you in terms of embracing and being open to new love. If you are healing and this isn't about new love, let other people help you, you know. Um, this can also be a burden shared is a burden halved too. So if this is just a healing energy because you've gone through some kind of loss or ending or difficult place, you know, in your life, this is also about let somebody else help you. Now, we've also got the energy of, of existing relationships in this as well. Um, like I said, I, I say what comes to me in terms of the threads that I'm getting. 
the purification energy is I regret what happened between us can we move forward in positive change um, and you're not sure whether you can or not the eight of swords and the four of cups I don't know if I if I can there is a lot of soul searching going on and then I feel it's the strength and courage to make a decision here in terms of how you move forward, whether in your truth you want to accept someone's offer in terms of renewing a relationship or not. And yes, you could look at that in terms of love romance, you could look at that in terms of friendship or other kind of like bonds that we have with people. The same energy would apply. So there is somebody potentially with regret and hoping that there is an opportunity to heal. I think this is about soul searching and really shining that lamp in terms of what's happened, what's led to this point, and how in truth you want to move forward. And that takes a lot of strength and courage to be truly honest with yourself and walk that path in truth. That's what I see for you here, Capricorn. But remember with the summer rain, like I, you know, like the card said, we wash away the old and outworn. Or we wash away and forgive what's happened and we embrace renewal, you know? This is what's at play here. We just let go of the old limiting patterns. We let go of the old energy and we embrace the new and renewed and abundant energy with the purification energy. This is what's for you at play. For others of you in terms of, like I said, some of you could be going through a career change if you're completely discontent on the path that you're on and you don't think that you're on the right career path. For others of you, it could just be a place that you work and you're deciding that I deserve greater abundance. I mean, that is the sunflower energy, you know, it's such a positive, abundant energy. So this is what I see for you here. That seems to be a focal point. All right, let's see what we have for you as a message from heaven. We have spread your wings and fly. We are proud of you, number 13. It's interesting that the butterfly came out because there is something about going through a deep transformational process. You know, the butterfly is about letting go of the old and embracing the new. It moves from the chrysalis to the butterfly, you know, and it is a deep, profound, transformative energy. You might be going through that, certainly in terms of relationship or your life path or, you know, in terms of, you know, career changes or embracing or recognizing what's not working for you anymore or what needs to be let go of. Um, whether it's a pattern, whether what, whether it's history or what's happened, whether it's to do with, you know, embracing complete change in terms of, you know, money, career, finances, the same energy applies. I think I feel that something has to be let go of here in order to embrace healing and transformation. You know, the butterfly moves from the chrysalis to the butterfly. Is that necessarily easy? No, it's not an easy process. But something beautiful comes out at the end. I think that's the energy here. It just feels there's either an opportunity for healing in an existing relationship. In a new relationship, there, there, there is the potential of someone new, but you might be still healing and you might, have, you might miss somebody, you know. Um, and having the strength and courage to, to realize that, you know, this can also be about just going through a healing process and accepting support and not doing it all yourself, you know. Um, for others of you, like I said, something might have to change in terms of career, whether it's a new job for some of you because you don't feel that you're getting anywhere in your current place of work. For others of you, it might be a complete transformative career change. Is what I have for you, Capricorn. Love the image of the butterfly at the end, though. That's what I have for you for the month of September. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.